everybody, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are here in St. Cloud, right off on Narcusi Road, minutes from Lake Nona, and we are in Meritage Silver Lakes, and this is the Hurston Bungalow model. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 1788 square feet, with a rear loading garage, which is the bungalow style. Um, the community information is the HOA is 105 a month with no CDD. Now, what's interesting about these homes is that they are giving you a closing cost incentive at the time of video if you use their preferred lender. Also, these homes start between 390 and 416. It's an awesome, awesome uh, option for you in this area, which is very local to Lake Nona, 30 minutes from Disney, uh, minutes from the 417 and the Turnpike, also downtown St. Cloud, and about an hour from the beaches. But uh, if you want more information on the availability of these projects, uh, just give me a call at 407-790-0929. And but before I show you this home, there, if you can press the subscribe and alert buttons down below, it really helps my channel. But let's go check these out. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And again, we're here at the Hurston model, which is a bungalow for Meritage here in Silver Lakes. And as you walk up to this home with the manicure uh, lawn, we have a big porch space right here in front of the homes with these two windows that let in natural lighting into the living room area. We'll see that in a minute, but love the porch space. Lots of outdoor, indoor living with this here. And as we come through, as you can see, beautiful glass pane door, like the light blue with a combo with an electric combo lock. So you don't need keys, which is very convenient. Now this is a model, of course, so the floors are upgraded, but I love that color floor for this home. It makes it very elegant looking. And as you proceed into the home, the first place or first room or space that we see is the family gathering area, which is very nice. Two windows here for natural lighting. Again, here's your cadenza for the living room space. And here's your TV. I think the TV needs to move up and be a little bit bigger, but hey, that's me. Um, very across from the living room space. Again, before we do that, the ceilings here about nine, nine and a half feet. Very nice. Gives it a spacious feel, a light feel to the home. Now we have our informal dining area here. So you can have breakfast, family dinners with the family here. People can sit there if you're having some entertainment over and everybody can still talk to each other because it's an open concept space. So I love that. Love that there are two more windows here at knee height. So lots of window real estate, letting that light into the home, making it that airy and light feel. Here we are at the kitchen, kitchen space. Now the, now the island for this, I'm gonna put the measurements here, but this is a big island that you can cook it has a dual sink, gooseneck here. You can sit at least three people. So that is very fitting for what the home needs. Love the wood look that they did on these cabinets, which is here's your 42 inch cabinet with the microwave here. And it lets the smells out through the home through a J vent, obviously. Open that up. So it does vent outside of the home. Very nice. Of course, this is not a gourmet package, so you do have your oven and top here. Quartz countertops, love that. Love the uh, pools that they have here. Here is your dishwasher on this side. And more cabinetry lines up this space. Very nice, dec de nicely decorated. Of course, a nice pantry here for all your storage needs love that and right next to the fridge there's this little alcove and that's where i would be putting my coffee tea or your drinks for the morning very nice as we swing back around there are two doors adjacent to the kitchen so here we have our two guard rear loaded garage which makes it a bungalow, obviously. But we also have this large closet as you can use for a secondary pantry if you have furry pet friends. I've seen people cut the door in half and make it a playroom for them. 
So that is a nice spot for storage, pets, your lawnmower, whatever you need. <laughs> and uh, as we move forward, right before the stairways to head up, which I'll show you in a minute, we have here your half bath for entertaining the guests and for bathroom use for the first floor. We have that pedestal sink and mirror right there with the tile floor, which is very nice. And meet me upstairs, guys, because I got a lot okay. more. So here we are on the second floor, right? All right, here on this side, we have the loft room space. Again, two windows for natural lighting. Very nice. You can see the ceiling stays the same. So we have the nine, nine, nine and a half foot ceilings here. This is a great space for you and the family for movie nights. I think they need a bigger TV, like I always say, but I love the furniture that they put here, the condenser, the L sofa, like the decorations. That is great. We're gonna start with this side of the home. So let's walk this way. As soon as you get to this side of the home, we have our domestic suite here, which is our, our laundry room, which we have the washer and dryer here. It's a great space, has enough space here, tile on the floor, obviously, very nice. Aside on the, across the hallway from that, we have the shared bathroom, which has one vanity sink here and mirror. And we have the tub on the back with tile about seven feet up and tile on the floor, very nice. And across the hall from the bathroom on the same side as the domestic suite, but a little further along in this hallway, we have a linen closet here. And behind this door for the linen closet, we have a bedroom here, but first let's go to this bedroom on the opposite side. And I love this room because Back in the day, I was a gamer, so Pac-Man was my jam. Love the decorations, love the, all the Pac-Man decorations, but look how big the room is. The ceilings are still the same height as always, as we said, we have a window here for natural lighting. Full-size bed can fit easily with furniture and decorations. And then on this side here, we have a half step in. And as you guys have been watching my channel, I always let you know that the half step in it's fantastic when it has real doors and not sliding doors. That's my preference. So I like that extra touch. Moving along. As we come back out into the hallway space, we have another bedroom here. And as you can see, lots of room, just like the other bedroom, full size bed, another window for natural lighting, but we have a full walk-in closet in this particular bedroom. Guys, love the doggy prints, that's nice. So let's keep moving on to the other side of the second floor where we've seen all this, the loft and such. Now I like this right before the primary bedroom suite. There's a little alcove here. I would move these doors up to here in the front, maybe with some glass pane panels. That would make a, a, nice, uh, a nice look here, a very more elegant look. Also, we have this little notch here where you could put a wet bar. So if you don't like going downstairs for your coffee, maybe a half fridge down here for some drinks to supply the law space and the primary bedroom suite with some drinks. That would be fantastic. That's a great idea. Is we, if we move forward, you can see how big this bedroom is. This bedroom is humongous. I'm gonna have the size of the bedroom here up top, but you can tell there's lots of space, king size bed, plenty of space, long, nice stands on each side. So you know it fits a lot of furniture. We have the cadenza and the mirror on the other side, but the most important part is these two windows that face the front side of the bungalow, which is fantastic. Lots of natural light pouring in, 
Now we're gonna move to the primary bed, bed bath suite, which is tile on the floor. And as you enter, we have our shower, and then we have our dual vanity here on this side. So there's our dual vanity, there's our shower with tile, nice large subway type tiles in graph order, about six, seven feet up. I would change that door to seamless glass, but that is a nice place for a shower. Then we have here our commode, and there is a window for natural lighting in that room. Very nice. And again, our dual vanities are here. Love the courts, the dual wind, the dual mirrors. Very nice with high hats right above it for light. And then here we are in our primary bedroom walk-in closet. Large space here, lots of space, as you can see. They did a great job supplying a lot of closet space in this home. But guys, that is the home. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna give you some final words. Stay with me. Hey guys, so is these the home for you? Is Does this make sense for you and your family? Being in proximity of Lake Nona, Medical City and such? Then give me a call, 407-790-0929. My name is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and I'll see you guys on the next video.